One of the disturbing things I've seen over 20 years working on human genetics and issues and, and, and bioethics issues is this belief in the miracle cure. You know, first there was uh, fetal tissue. We spent hundreds of millions of dollars in this and we cured nobody. And many patients were horribly injured by these fetal implants and uncontrolled motions and they've stopped mo almost all these experiments. And then it was gene therapy. Uh, miracle cure, said the New York Times. Please don't stop it. This is wonderful. Again, now billions of dollars spent in the, this country. No one's cured. We now have many deaths, 37 deaths, 1,000 serious adverse reactions, which we're investigating now, finally. And then in France, we have two, two young children who uh, developed a new form of leukemia. Now they're talking about stem cell research, these miracle cure du jour, this idea that we can cure cancer and all these diseases by some magic bullet. Uh, this is behind a lot of the energy, and, and, and it's not only naive, it's dangerous. You don't need to understand every last little detail of what's happening. What you need to know is that scientists, some scientists, want to change human DNA in such a way that the baby that results will be different from what otherwise would have happened. Indeed, those changes will pass on into generation after generation after generation. Scientists, some of them envision, I mean, for instance, James Watson, the sort of father of the DNA revolution, envisions a world in which he says there'll be no more stupid people, there'll be no more ugly babies, and there'll be no more shy people. Uh, he says that we should be engineering people to make sure that there aren't cold fish, as he puts it in the future. Um, this is a project that we, that you don't need to be a scientist, you don't need to win the Nobel Prize to know whether or not that's a, a, a good idea or not.